All right, hey everybody, it's Brian G. Johnson here, and in this short tutorial video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to use Magic Bullet Books to create an awesome book that's well formatted and looks good across a, a, a myriad of different Kindle devices. Um, first off, in the members area, in the members site, you can see we've got Magic Bullet Books. If you click this link, it will take you to the actual domain Magic Bullet Books where you can log in. Okay. Um, in the dashboard, when this video is done, I'll have another link here, and it's to this page, which is going to be Magic Bullet Books tutorial. And uh, this video will be featured on that page. And I've also got some um, a quick start guide and some further details about how to get the most out of this awesome piece of software. Here's what's great about it. It's really easy. Let me show you just how easy, in fact, it is. I'm going to log in. Now, we use this ourselves because, you know, I started publishing and I needed a solution that was super easy with images. One of the things I learned as I started to publish more and more books that had a lot of images was that you're not just formatting for an iPad or a Kindle Fire or a Kindle Touch or one of the original devices that was like an ink device, I believe they were called. There are a lot of different screen sizes. And if you start to get fancy and you try to resize things on your own, it gets messy. So keep things simple and you'll be fine. So to create a new book, you're simply going to click on Add New Publication. And then you're just going to enter in your book name. And I'll just enter in my book title here. You're going to select uh, fiction or nonfiction, and this will basically set the formatting uh, to that of either a fiction or nonfiction book. Now, I usually do nonfiction books, that's my niche, so I select nonfiction. Don't worry about an ISBN or IS, yes, ISBN. If you know what that means and you want to use one, great. I don't use them, and they're created automatically at Amazon. Add your uh, author name here, right? So Brian G. Johnson. Table of contents, I would recommend that you add it to the front of the book. And H1 titles, what does that mean? Well, I'll show you as we actually create the content for the book, we'll create a page name. And the page name will be an H1 title. And that means each page that you create will ultimately be a chapter in your table of contents. And the table of contents in this case is the front of the book. And then we would upload a, a cover, okay? So let me see. I don't think I have a cover on. No, let's just, we'll use this. I do have a cover, so that's good. And it's actually, I'm gonna click save and it's gonna take about 12 seconds. Okay, so here's my cover for uh, a book I just published about two or three weeks ago. Um, I'll talk more about this book. You might be wondering what it's about. Um, as we get near the end, I'll explain what this book is about. If you wanna add some additional content here, you could. You could put um, a dedication, uh, why you wrote the book, whatever you want. If you want extra content, you can add it in there. Okay, after it's saved, then you're going to go back to all publications. And now you can see the book we just created is here. My book title is here. And if I click show pages, you'll see we don't have any pages at all. And the way you're going to format your book is to create single pages inside your, your book. Okay. Let me show you what Azon bestseller looks like. This book has like, I don't know, what is it? 10 or 12 chapters, nine chapters. And if I click show pages, you'll see that every single chapter is its own page. So this is considered a page. Let me show you some of the cool things you can do with Magic Bullet Books. You can drag and drop things around. I'm going to move this back in the correct order so you can order things as you like. And if you're doing um, a very small book, maybe a children's book, a nonfiction children's book like I teach, it's a great way to get started. You know, you don't need to create a lot of different chapters. You could do everything in one page because there's not a lot of content. You know, you might have 800 words, 15 images, and you could just create one page and you would be, you would be fine. Now in this case, I'm gonna go back to, oh, I already did, I already went back to my publication. So I'm gonna go back here to my 
uh, my new book that I just created and I'm gonna click add new page and in this case I'm gonna uh, say something page title let's do chapter one description here and then literally it's just uh, you know adding in here is some content keep things simple and you will have a published book in no time and this is absolutely correct don't get fancy with your formatting people if you do you're gonna get in trouble let's say you want to add in an image add in a, uh, a return a carriage return click the image upload button and you're gonna drop a file right here so let's say I want to put a picture of me hey it's Brian Johnson blah 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 okay the picture will be resized and the picture will also be compressed automatically don't do anything else don't align it don't try to make it better because Magic Bullet Books was, de was designed to make it easy for you. So just let it, it do its thing and you'll, you'll be absolutely fine. Now I'm just going to add another return and add some additional information. Uh, this book is about self-publishing and how to drive traffic. Earn book royal okay let's say you want a bold or something like that it's just as easy as using like a WordPress uh, what you see is what you get at editor just click the bold and um, it'll be bold if you want to link out to a website that's cool just click that and um, come to the, the link and insert your link here um, I have book royalties, so maybe it's going to be like HTTP colon forward forward bookmoney.com. Okay, if you want to open in a new tab, no problem. You can do that. I'm going to cancel out of that. Okay, there's a lot of different things you can do, and basically, um, all these uh, buttons will help you format your book quickly and easily. So if you click this, you get different types of headers. So this is good if you want to use um, multi-level table of contents. You can if you'd like. I, I, personally, again, I keep it simple. I just base my table of contents on H1 tags. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the H1 tag. So if you've got a 10 chapter book, then each chapter will have a link in the table of contents that takes people to this chapter really easy right you've got different header sizes right there you can uh, choose colors uh, and don't um, we really don't need to have this in there in here we've added it in uh, I wouldn't use this it's just based on the what you see is what you get editor we purchased um, and so on you can change the font size again I wouldn't do this and here's the reason you don't want to do this because People that read on Kindle configure their individual devices to control the size of the text that they want. If they make their text really big and you make it smaller, then you're kind of messing with what they've already established and configured for their personal reading experience. So again, just leave this alone. You probably don't need this. These are the kind of um, formatting things I use. Bold italic, I might underline or strike through something, I might align to the left or the right, I might include some bullet points, I might link out, I might add an image. Um, these are the really the things that I use and it works super super well. And again, I'm going to go back to all publications, okay? I'm going to open up Azon Bestseller and I want to just show you you know how well it works. I want to show you what I've done. So, so basically, you know, here's my chapter three, Azon Money Multiplier. I've got some nice images. Um, things work just just fine. The images are are resized, scaled, compressed as they should be. All the information is is as 
as it should be. So just use the power of Magic Bullet Books to get your information into your book. And you can see I've got tons and tons and tons of graphics and whatnot. Um, and it just it just works as it should. So don't worry about fancy formatting and whatnot. And if we were to look at this book, um, you would see that you know all the chapters have become links in a table of contents, right? So you can go to uh, the forward, you can go to the copyright, you can go to chapter one, chapter two, etc. Um, that's all you really need to do to use Magic Bullet Books. And what I would recommend is that you create your content first and then when everything is ready to go, when you've got your images organized, when you've got your content, then start adding it into Magic Bullet Books as I've just uh, shown you. And then all you need to do at the end is when you're all done is come down and you click Publish. And then you come down again and you'll, you'll, can see, you'll see the status is zero. And then you're going to basically click Publish and what's happening actually is our system now is automatically resizing and formatting your images, compiling the uh, alignment and the formatting of your book. And when everything is done, you'll be uh, given a zip file that you can download and you simply upload that to KDP and you're done. Click Download Publication. Now notice we've got a handy preview button here and you can see we've got a nice table of contents just as it should be as I mentioned. If I click on Chapter 3, I'm taken straight to Chapter 3. Makes things really easy and you can get a rough idea of what your book's going to look like. Now because I've been teaching Kindle for quite a while, I know that people, they look at this and they say this isn't exactly how my book is going to be displayed and you're right. Again, remember that it's hard to get a, a perfect idea exactly how your book will be um, displayed because there are multiple displays. iPad, Android tablets, Kindle devices, different types of Kindle devices, different types and sizes of Kindle devices, smartphones, and more. This just gives you a good idea of how the content will be formatted and how it will look and you can see I don't have anything fancy and this book is getting great reviews and it doesn't have to be fancy you don't have to have crazy formatting to get results what people want is great content that's easy to access understand and follow and if you follow my guidelines you'll be able to do just that so guys it's a pleasure to have you in uh, Kindle Ritual this course has been responsible for so many amazing result and I want you to get a piece of the action. I'll also mention that we're going to be having uh, an additional training program starting in about uh, eight days on, I forget the date, it's uh, March 7th or 8th. I'll actually look at my calendar. I'll be sending out an email to all the members, opening up the iPad calendar now. Uh, March 7th, we're going to have a, a, a training webinar, very inexpensive, $14.95. I'm going to be leading and showing you how you can get started with children's books if you're brand new. I would highly advise you grab this uh, information because it's going to make uh, the process of you getting started and really doing it really easy. And once you start doing it, you're creating act. Uh, assets and it's just a lot easier to move forward. So again, in the member site, you're going to see a link right here to this video and this page, the Magic Bullet Books tutorial. And next to it, I'll have additional training uh, series. And this is called the Real-Time Case Study. There's two webinars. The first one is on the 7th of March, and this, the second one is on the 14th of March. And the second one, I'm going to go into some really advanced strategies. I've never taught this stuff before. It's based, what I per, it's based on what I personally do. And I, I, I promise you, if you attend these webinars, you're going to learn a lot of things that you've never thought about. Um, I don't think anybody's teaching it. It's, it's, it's Brian's way. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty inexpensive. And you're also going to get access to my PDF, about three to 4,000 words on children's books and how to create quickly and easily children's books. And I created this module because it's a great stepping stone to ultimately getting to the next level. Um, a lot of people stumble in internet marketing because they can't follow through and finish. If you don't finish, you don't create assets. And this system makes it really quick, 
really easy. I'll break everything down in this additional training. Jump on board if you'd like. Lastly, I mentioned this book. I almost forgot. This book is $5.97. It came out um, just uh, a couple weeks ago. It's got a lot of the ideas and strategies in Kindle Ritual, but it's broken down into six steps. There are a lot of case studies inside the book, and it's really powerful stuff. This book is going to be going on sale for 99 cents in the future. I'm not trying to sell you right now. I want you to know that if you're interested in this, wait till you hear from me because it'll be on sale in the middle of March for 99 cents, okay? Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson from Kindle Ritual. It's a pleasure to have you aboard, and I can't wait to see the results that you start generating by leveraging Amazon and Kindle self-publishing. Brian G. Johnson, and I'll see you soon.